locked up with his in-laws. I say dump him. He becomes the outlaw. Your dad's so mad he's got that spit thing going on in the corner of his mouth. Foxworthy, then Julia flips for a new guy. I want to send the right message. What message? I do tax returns? But he flips back. You're looking at my hair, aren't you? Maybe this time after Foxworthy Saturday. Some of the world's best tasting water comes from an unexpected source. The Brita water filtration pitcher transforms tap water. The special Brita filter reduces chlorine taste and odor, eliminates 93% of lead, taking tap water back to nature. Brita, tap into great taste. Available at Brooks Pharmacy and Calder. Looking for the perfect gift? Give the gift that grows. Chia Herb Garden includes everything you need to grow fresh herbs right in your own kitchen. Four distinctive terracotta clay pots and saucers, six different seed packets to choose from, instruction booklet, recipes, and the natural chia growing sponge. It's clean and easy. No more mess or worries. The chia growing sponge maintains just the right amount of air and moisture. Place a moistened chia sponge in each pot. Sprinkle on herb seeds, water, and watch it grow. T -t 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 Cooking with fresh herbs is healthy and makes food taste delicious. Mm -hmm. Grow herbs indoors in the winter, transplant them in the spring. Look for chia on the box. Chia Herb Garden, the gourmet gift that everyone can grow. The Chia Herb Garden is available at Walgreens, Brooks Pharmacy, Rite Aid, Kmart, NHD, Woolworth, Benny's, and participating True Value Hardware stores. Makes a great gift. Holiday at Pops, a Channel 5 special presentation Sunday night at 8. WCPB TV, Boston. Now, this is News Center Park. Coverage you can count on. Republicans and Democrats talk about how to reopen government while federal sites shut down. More snow, fun for some. Mark's got an eye on the latest storm. Snow or no, it was full steam ahead for shoppers today and a pitiful end to any playoff hopes. Good evening. A balanced budget is just a dream tonight. The government ground to a halt again as budget talks broke off once more, meaning hundreds of federal workers face layoff. The latest federal shutdown technically began a minute after midnight this morning. Because it hit on the weekend, those most visibly affected were tourists visiting hundreds of national parks and museums. Three weeks of on and off negotiations are off and angry rhetoric is on. No further at federal landmarks where tourists were turned away today and no further in budget talks, which hit a dead end. President Clinton and Republicans traded accusations today but made no plans to restart negotiations. We don't believe that uh, decimating Medicare and Medicaid and undermining our investments in education and the environment, raising taxes on working families is a good prescription for America's future. And it is not necessary to balance the budget. We need good faith bargaining from the president, not smoke and mirrors, not the rhetoric of fear. The nation needs for the president to put forth a legitimate, real, balanced budget with honest numbers, real savings, one that will allow the federal government to live within its means. This is as close as you can get to the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor today. All over the country, tourists were on the outside looking in. Get with the program, stay at work till you get it done. Yeah. There's no time to uh, have any leisure activities when you got the government shut down. We elected them to do a job and they're not doing it. This is the second government shutdown in a month. Today, the Senate chaplain appealed for divine intervention. Negotiations with the administration have deadlocked in an internecine no-win battle. We are talking at each other. We are not carefully listening to each other. Local politicians have been weighing in as well with their opinions on the budget crisis. I can't believe that at a time when we celebrate the spirit of giving, at a time when we understand what community really is about, when most people reach out to help people, that Washington is willing to shut down the government because some people don't believe that people who are on the edge ought to get a little bit of help. 
Mr. Carey said thousands of local residents will have trouble paying their heating bills because this winter, because of the shutdown, has tied up their aid money. Meanwhile, local tourist attractions are losing business. Federal landmarks that require employee supervision have been closed because of the budget battle. The Bunker Hill Monument is among them. Visitors to the Boston National Historical Park were given a flyer explaining the situation. Some sites, such as the Freedom Trail, will remain open because they do not require federal supervision. The mission to Bosnia continues to involve local troops. A reserve unit from Fort Devens has been told to intensify training tonight. The 883rd Medical Company is comprised of psychiatrists, psychologists and social workers. They will probably be working in an army hospital in Germany, treating soldiers who are left in Germany, who did not deploy to Bosnia, families of those soldiers and the soldiers who did deploy to Bosnia, they may treat soldiers in Bosnia who are evacuated back to Germany and so forth. The reserve company will be stationed in Germany, replacing an army unit which has been sent to Bosnia. Meanwhile, inclement weather is preventing NATO troops from landing in Bosnia. For the third straight day, heavy fog has prevented Air Force planes from take landing at the Tuzla airport. The planes are trying to bring troops and supplies into the city. The earliest the first combat troops can now move into the city would be tomorrow, providing the weather clears. And the weather isn't much better here. It has been snowing in spurts all day. Mark has been tracking the storm from the Weather Center. Mark? Okay, Pam, and so far it's been a wimpy storm around here, although north of Boston, up around Cape Ann, five inches of snow fell this morning. But let's look at the map and see what's going to happen tonight. We are talking about snow getting steadier and heavier throughout the area. We're not looking for a big blitz here. And there will be some areas of mixed freezing drizzle and sleet along the coast gradually going over to all snow. And rain on the Cape will be changing to snow late at night. So basically, there will be lots of icy roads around. If you're out driving, please be careful. Now let's go to the latest radar loop. And I want to show you that bands of snow have been pinwheeling in from the ocean all day. And that's going to be the scenario overnight as well. More snow coming at us from New York State may enhance the snowfall rates a little bit late tonight. When I come back, we'll tell you how much snow we're going to get. And we'll talk about the rumors of another storm here by Tuesday. Pam? All right, Mark, thank you. The final countdown is on with just one full week left before Christmas. The malls were packed today with determined holiday shoppers. But despite the masses, News Center 5's Peter Henderson reports there's not a lot of spending going on. In the square in Medford, it might have been just another slushy Saturday. There was no real sign of any shopping frenzy. Tony Lucci's sporting goods store, which specializes in hockey gear, does well every winter. And down at Stretchabuck, the sale of stocking stuffers is providing some cheer. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Happy yeah, you too. Thank Thanks. you. Okay, bye. You too. But on a day with uncertain weather and tough to find parking, Main Street in Medford, Main Street anywhere, had a tough time competing with the malls. Meanwhile, here at the big malls, business is brisk. People may be spending money, but many of them say they are being careful. I definitely do not do credit cards. And when the money runs out, that's it. I really, I was tempted just a few minutes ago to charge something. I just decided I'm not going to do it. It's my resolution. It, I usually try to stay within reason, but if there's something that I really know the person will like, I'll, I'll buy it. But usually I try to stay within a budget. I'm trying to stay away from using my credit card this year, so I don't get hit with the interest. <laughs> Nevertheless, long lines at ATMs and long shopping lists in hand suggest many people are spending money, snow or no snow. Well, the weather isn't too bad, and there's only uh, you know about a final week left of shopping, so they don't have much choice at this point. They got to go out there and spend, as you can see, looking around the here. Indeed, they are, and mall managers say sales will be slightly up over last year. Peter Henderson, News Center 5. And a reminder, Channel 5 will be running a holiday kettle drive along with the Salvation Army next week. Monday through Friday, outside our Channel 5 studios in Needham, the Salvation Army will set up two kettles, one for general contributions and one to help those affected by the Malden Mills fire. A Salvation Army truck will take donations of non-perishable food, blankets and toys. And we, on, we are all busy at this time of the year, but if you can stop by between 8 a.m. and 6.30 p.m., you'll find us off Route 128 at exit 19B, right next to Muzzy Ford. Coming up next, a holiday tradition continues tonight on New England's coastline and warming up with Keith Lockhart for tomorrow's special holiday at Pops.
get in on a great holiday special. This week on Real Estate Review, we visit the ponds at Plymouth, where great home buyer incentives are making now the best time to buy here. We'll also be featuring a number of homes for sale that you can pick up for a great bargain. Hi, I'm Lorraine Barnacoat. Join us on Sunday as we showcase the ponds at Plymouth, as well as a number of other homes for sale throughout New England. Join us Sunday for Real Estate Review right here on Channel 5. Introducing the most comprehensive calling plan in the world. One that will surprise you with its simplicity. AT&T True Reach International Savings. Save on any call, from any phone, any time. Save 25% on every kind of international call. Guaranteed. Even save 25% on calls around the U.S. AT&T True Reach International Savings. Simplicity itself. That's your true choice, AT&T. Pumpkin, it's time to wash your blankie. No. Blanky? No. Bologna sandwich. No. Okay. Who says the world has changed? This is good. You still love the taste of an Oscar Mayer bologna sandwich. You just forgot. Blanky. No. Quality beef and no fillers. Can you ever be too grown up for Oscar Mayer? The Volvo 960 comes with just about everything standard. And for a limited time, it also comes with this. 0% financing is now available on the top of the line Volvo 960s. Or if you prefer, you can lease one for as little as $399 a month. There are also exceptional buys on the front wheel drive Volvo 850 with its powerful 168 horsepower engine. But these programs end December 31st. See your local Volvo dealer for details and drive safely. The day ends. 10,000 workers head earthward, down through the 110 stories, leaving behind any thought of what will become of the four tons of paper they threw away today. Not to worry. A good recycling plan can overcome any obstacle, even the world's tallest. What business do we have saying we help the environment? That is our business. You're watching New Center 5 at 6. Coverage you can count on with Pam Cross, Anthony Everett, meteorologist Mark Rosenthal, and Ed Harding on sports. Now, New Center 5 continues. It wouldn't be a New England Christmas without a trip to the Lighthouse Keepers. It's a tradition that started almost 70 years ago and continues today. The Flying Santa is still bringing gifts and smiles to families who guard the rugged coast. Today, they eagerly awaited his arrival. New Center 5's Beth Germano was waiting as well. Could this explain how Santa sees you when you're sleeping and knows when you're awake? He's flying overhead. After all, this is quicker than a sleigh. What's it like seeing Santa come uh, in a helicopter? Different. It's different than uh, seeing him come and flood in. I wonder where his reindeer are. Johnny Lee, where's Joel? Hi, Johnny. Merry Christmas, Johnny. Uh, David, it's his second Christmas and he's all psyched. And we are too. Merry Christmas, y'all. For the keepers of the lighthouses along the New England coast, the sight of this flying machine means a special run from the North Pole just for them. When life by the sea can be cold and lonely these winter months, Santa coming to the shore brings with it magic. Hi, Kyle. You want to sit up here? Yeah, oh boy. How you been? There's nothing that compares to it. Uh, I guess the North Pole would be the next best place to send, spend uh, Christmas, but this is beautiful. The kids love it. I mean. Just to see their faces is great. What is it? It's a backpack. A squirrel. And what are you going to do with it? Yeah, we'll put stuff in it. This tradition began in 1929 when an airplane pilot got lost in a snowstorm near the Maine coast. It was the beacons of seven lighthouses that helped him set a course for a safe landing. He returned a few days later, ever grateful, the Santa of the lighthouses. The pilot retraced that treacherous course, bearing gifts that continues today, bringing out the child in everyone, even the men who guard the Boston Light. Ah, uh, but good. <laughs> this time of year, things slow down, gets kind of quiet. Uh, we look forward to visitors, especially him, because uh, he brings presents. <laughs> Thank you, Lightkeepers. Merry 
Christmas! Beth Germano, New Center 5. Well, they weren't the only ones with presents. We had a special treat in our Needham studios today. Keith Lockhart and the Boston Pops were joined by the Manhattan Transfer warming up this afternoon for tomorrow's special Holiday at Pops. The special live telecast airs here on Channel 5 tomorrow night from 8 to 10. Please join us then. And there is more to come on New Center 5, like how much snow is in our future. Mark's forecast is next. Some of the world's best tasting water comes from an unexpected source. The Brita water filtration pitcher transforms tap water. The special Brita filter reduces chlorine taste and odor, eliminates 93% of lead, taking tap water back to nature. Brita, tap into great taste. Available at Caldor and Bradley's. Kitchen Etc. The cooking and dining superstore is the source for your holiday entertaining and gift giving with savings up to 40% every day. Calvalon's 11 piece cookware set now only $349.99. With any Calvalon purchase of $150 or more, receive a bonus bake pan, a $63 value. Cuisinart makes it easy with their mini prep, only $29.99. And the five piece professional last knife block set from Hankel's, only $149.99. Kitchen Etc. has full bridal registry services. Kitchen Etc. Everything you need to prepare and serve good food. With so many viewing choices, Zenith makes selecting and recording programs simple at last. Featuring Starsight, the only on-screen program guide that lets you select any show, any time, and record at the touch of a button. Available now with Zenith's best picture ever. Zenith with Starsight. See them at your Zenith dealer. Boston Market introduces Hearth Honey Hams for the holidays. Questions, anyone? Do you use the finest boneless ham? Oh, yeah. Are you blending the honey with cinnamon and cloves? Does the glaze bake up sweet and crunchy? The ham is real tender and juicy, right? Well, then who needs us? Yeah. New Hearth Honey Hams. Order one now for the holidays. And don't forget our great home-style side dishes from your nearby Boston Market. While we had the 85 Camry, we put three kids through school, moved twice, and had three presidents. Two since I made the last payment. I figured I was ready for a new one. When a product far exceeds your expectations, when it's affordable to start with and worth more long after it's paid for, that saves you money. That's real value. Simply the best. You know, this new one could last 20 years. Better than all the rest. Now, meteorologist Mark Rosenthal and the Weather Center 5 forecast. Well, Anthony is off. I don't know if he went skiing or not, but well, there's some new snow, skiing. huh? Yeah, we've been waiting all day for the storm to start to pick up in intensity. So far, it's sort of been a, a, a wimpy storm here. But uh, you're looking at me like, <laughs> come snow. on, Mark, we've had so much snow this <laughs> season. Right. It's true. So anyway, let's see what's going on right now in terms of the conditions in Boston. I'll tell you, folks, I've been uh, waiting all day for the snow. Looking on, people have been saying, where's the snow? Well, it should be coming. We have freezing drizzle right now in Boston in 32 degrees. It's raining out in the Cape. Temperatures there in the 30s, but the smattering of snow here and there. Worcester, Concord, Lebanon, New Hampshire, up through Montpelier. Visibility is one to three miles. So really nothing to write home about right now. In terms of the national map, here's what's going on. One storm brought a couple of inches of snow to New York City this morning. That is moving out. Here comes another little uh, weak storm back from the Great Lakes. We'll be diving southeast into the mean storm position here on the east coast with a little bit of lift going on in the atmosphere and northeast wind at the surface. So we could get a couple of inches of snow tonight. If you are going out, certainly be careful. Then the snow is out of here probably about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. And then finally, high pressure is going to build down from Canada with sunshine. Yes, sunshine comes in here tomorrow. That's going to be nice. But... There is another storm developing in the southwest, and it's going to tap all kinds of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to be a juicy storm. Is it coming this way? Sure. Why not? Why break continuity? Probably for Tuesday, Tuesday night, and Wednesday, maybe in the form of snow. Now, in terms of the latest radar loop, 
Here's what's going on. Here comes one band of snow nailing York and Washington and Philly this morning. That's out of the picture, but also notice bands of snow coming in from the Atlantic Ocean. That's one area that we've been watching. Here comes another area starting to blossom back towards New York State. This will be moving southeast, so we should see the snowfall rates being enhanced here tonight. And before all said and done, we're looking uh, in the range of about two to five inches of snow here in the Boston area. Already five inches on the ground in uh, Rockport and Cape Ann and perhaps two or three in Boston before all said and done. So overnight it's occasional snow, a little bit of freezing drizzle, some rain on the Cape. We'll be going over to snow. Temperatures by morning will be in the 20s with some very slick going. And then for tomorrow, any flurries ending earlier than partly sunny, breezy and cold weather, about 35 degrees. And then uh, for tomorrow night, it's clear and cold, 7 to 19. And the extended outlook for Monday calls for partly sunny, windy and cold weather. Temperatures in the mid-30s and maybe some more snow by Tuesday night. Oh boy, we'll look ahead okay. later. Thank right, you, Mark. Sure. Well, if you have access to the Internet, you can get up-to-date information on the storm anytime on 5 Online. Our address on the World Wide Web is www.wcvb.com. Walt Perkins has been cruising the internet. Yeah. He was looking for scores, though. I was looking for points for the Patriots, but I uh, couldn't find uh, enough, Pam. If the uh, NFL halves were just 28 minutes long, the Pats could be coming home smiling. Four girls in Gloucester always see kids, no, young kids, buying cigarettes from machines. So what do they do? They start a petition. They collect signatures, lots of signatures. They take them to the city council. Revisions, lawyers, politicians, boom. The mayor grabs his pen, signs it into law. Wheels turn, the action begins. Say bye bye. Four kids, they had an idea. They took control, they changed the rules, so can you. This Christmas, the jewelers at 333 Washington Street. Seven floors and over 150 jewelers to choose from. The jewelers at 333 Washington Street. Selection to please every holiday budget. For over 70 years, the choice has been the jewelers at 333 Washington Street. Discover your optimal beauty naturally at Giuliano of Newberry Street. Winner, Best of Boston, 1995. Get the pampering you deserve. And for that very special someone, beautifully packaged gifts and gift certificates are available. Giuliano. What, man? <laughs> Sheila's pregnant. Pregnant? What do you mean pregnant? Yeah. The doctor says she needs my support now while she's pregnant. Ask her to connect with the Boston Healthy Start Initiative. Call 1-800-531-BABY. Your lady, your baby, your move. If your teenager seems sad or irritable, they may be suffering from depression. Dr. Steingart at Children's Hospital is seeking participants for a research study using antidepressants to determine whether they treat teen depression. A comprehensive psychiatric evaluation is available for eligible participants. Call for information. You know, there's nothing quite like a leisurely drive in the outback. Subaru outback, that is. And you can bet your boots there's nothing quite like this. The amazing outback lease. Now that's what I call a ripper deal. Just ask your Subaru dealer about it. If they don't do you right, let me know. My no-nonsense approach can be very effective. Subaru Outback, the world's first sport utility wagon. Get in on a great holiday special. This week on Real Estate Review, we visit the ponds at Plymouth, where great home buyer incentives are making now the best time to buy here. We'll also be featuring a number of homes for sale that you can pick up for a great bargain. Hi, I'm Lorraine Barnicote. Join us on Sunday as we showcase the ponds at Plymouth, as well as a number of other homes for sale throughout New England. Join us Sunday for Real Estate Review right here on Channel 5. Well, it's curtains for the Patriots, curtains as in steel curtain, curtains as in there will be no playoffs for the Pats this year. The Pittsburgh Steelers league leading defense came through late in both halves this afternoon to hand the Pats a 41-27 loss and end all hopes of postseason play for New England. Here is Three River Stadium, a homecoming for Pats rookie running back Curtis Martin. He did not disappoint his family and friends on hand, 120 strong today, and he picked up 120 yards rushing or against the uh, AFC's best defense. Pats led 6-3 with 115 left in the first half. O'Donnell to Yancey Thigpen beats Carlos Yancey with a touchdown, 10-6 Pittsburgh. Patriots get the ball back, but Bledsoe has it stripped away. And 305-pound Brenson Buckner 
picks it up and rumbles 46 yards for the touchdown two touchdowns in the final 115 of the half 17 6 Pittsburgh at the break third quarter Bledsoe finds Ben Coates for the touchdown Pats cut the Steelers lead to 5 17 12 but Pittsburgh gets it right back Cordell Stewart hurt the Pats with his passing catching and running breaks several tackles 22 yard touchdown 24 12 Pittsburgh fourth quarter Patriots mount a comeback Bledsoe to Coates between three Steelers for the touchdown 24 19 game after a Steeler field goal the Patriots complete the comeback play action over the middle complete to Martin he's got a first down inside the 15 he's to the 10 he's to the 5 he's into the end zone touchdown Curtis Martin two-point conversion attempt Bledsoe is back he looks he throws it is caught and in two points to David Meggett and the Patriots have tied it up now it remained that way with 140 left O'Donnell to Ernie Mills and look at what Mills does he beats Yancey shakes free goes 62 yards for the score 34 27 Pittsburgh Parcell says hey we've got time we still have time but on the next Patriots play Ben Coates has the ball stripped away Chris Oldham will pick it up takes it in from 27 yards out ouch and officially eliminate the Pats from the playoffs 41 27 the final from Pittsburgh but well, we had a lot of guys play awfully well today. Uh, as I told the team, we had about uh, 38 playing their ass off and about seven I wish I would have left at home. When it came down to time for us to, to be the ones to uh, make the other team crack, we didn't. You know, we, we gave up some plays and uh, just couldn't close it. We're just not mature enough to understand when we got a chance to win. And we had a chance to win, 27 all. We had a chance to win today. We had just made a couple of plays. We, they made them, and we couldn't make them, and that's the difference between these two teams. There's not much other difference. Pats did pretty well against the league-leading defense. Look at Bledsoe's numbers, 39-60, 336, three TDs, and a partial score, Green Bay beating up on New Orleans. This time of year, it's not unusual to hear someone say, season's greetings. Well, if you uh, see Dino Raja, why don't you say, season's best. Dino had that last night at Fleet Center as the uh, Celtics won handily 122 to 103. The reason the Celts are uh, winning these days, three in a row is for that matter, the running game. David Wesley pushes the ball up court, finds Todd Day for two of his 13. As for Raja, his best game of the young season, 31 points and 14 rebounds. As far as being one over 500, uh, again, like I said in the last game, uh, yeah, my position is that we should have a better record than that. Um, you know, we, left, we lost some tough ones early on. Uh, but this team is competing. This team is going out every single day. They're competing. They're working hard. You can see, you can start to sense the togetherness that this team is, is developing, uh, pulling for one another, and it's exciting. Dino finishes strong on the baseline. And one last note, Mike McFarlane has re-signed with the Kansas City Royals. One year with the Sox, that's enough. Okay, and that's the last word, too. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you tonight at 11. Imagine you earn $20,000 a year, too much to qualify for Medicaid, but not enough to afford the $6,000 it will cost for an individual health insurance policy to cover you and your kids. An estimated 700,000 people in Massachusetts are in a similar fix. Some could get group coverage at work, but can't pay their share of the premium. Others don't even have that option. That's where Governor Wells' mass health proposal comes in. It would use some of the hospital free care pool to give credits to employers who offer health insurance and to subsidize worker premiums. That's an idea worth advancing, but it doesn't solve the whole problem. Another approach is a House Insurance Committee bill that would require HMOs and commercial insurers for the first time to take all applicants. They would also be required to limit waiting periods for coverage, to renew policies even if a person's health changes, and to offer at least one policy with standard benefits so buyers can compare prices. This is generally the non-discriminatory rule under which Blue Cross Blue Shield already operates. Details must still be worked out, but both the governor's proposal and the legislature's bill should go forward. We can't look to Washington for solutions at this time, so Massachusetts must be creative about increasing health care access for all. After three quarters of a century, find Jay Lenard Furs of Chestnut Hill has filed Chapter 11. You save 40 to 60 percent off everything store-wide. New merchandise arriving daily. We're cutting prices, not quality. Boston's best fur savings, Jay Lenard Furs. The Peking Garden Restaurant in Lexington Center is celebrating their 23-year anniversary with the renovation of their dining room. 
dim sum, buffets, and banquet facilities for up to 250 people. Just a new look inside. Come to the Peking Garden today. HMO Blue, top silk. Over 30 health plans have chosen Melrose Wakefield Hospital. They've chosen our hospital because they trust the quality and value of the health care we provide. They